So what I'd like to do now is walk you through the abdominal aortic exam. We do this exam when we're looking for abdominal aortic aneurysm. We're going to use a phased array transducer. This is a good all-purpose transducer for the emergency department, so you can use this for fast exam or abdominal aortic exam. We're going to start in a transverse view. I'm going to put some gel on the patient from the epigastric area to the level of the umbilicus in a straight line. I'm going to orient the transducer so the marker is to the patient's right. And I'm going to place it straight up and down in the epigastric area. The first thing that you're going to see on the ultrasound image is a round pulsating structure in the middle of the image, and this will be the aorta. Immediately posterior to this round pulsating area will be the shadow of the spine. So we just see the anterior surface of the spine as the white bright line and then behind this we see a shadow. That is what we call a spine shadow and you can use that as your landmark to identify the aorta all the way down the body. So we're going to start in the epigastric area assessing the size of the aorta. The first landmarks that we want to see to know that we are superior enough above the renal arteries is the SMA. This is going to appear as a smaller anechoic circle just anterior to the aorta. So just be careful you don't mistake this actually for the aorta because it is possible there could be an aneurysm in the superior mesenteric artery as well. Immediately anterior to this is the pancreas and then to the right of the patient on the left of the screen we see the IVC as this hypoechoic structure. So from this point we're going to move down. We're looking for the left renal vein to cross over as our landmark for the renal level. And we're going to continue moving inferiorly. If you see bowel gas like this just wiggle the transducer a little bit to try to push it out of the way and work around it. And I'm going to decrease my depth as I move inferior because the aorta is going to move anterior in the body. So I can decrease my depth to get it into better view. Again, we're dealing with some bowel gas here. I just push it away with the transducer and here's the aorta pulsating, just sitting anterior to the spine with the IVC to the right. I'm going to continue down to the level of the umbilicus, pushing away the bowel gas, and here I see the aorta divide into right and left iliac arteries. So now we see two round circles instead of one. Once we finish the transverse sweep, we're going to turn the transducer so the orientation marker is facing the patient's head. We'll place it again starting at the epigastric level. I'm going to increase the depth here a little bit. Find the aorta. And at this point, because I'm in a sagittal view, it should appear as a long black tube moving from the left to the right of the image. We can see here in the image I'm in the very proximal portion of the aorta. We see the liver anterior to the aorta. I move up a little bit. I can see the heart beating just above the diaphragm. So I know I'm at the very proximal level. And I'm going to just start to survey down the aorta. The branch that I'm seeing here coming at a shallow angle is the superior mesenteric artery. So I know I'm above the level of the renal arteries when I see that landmark. I'm going to continue down, following it in a longitudinal view. And again, I see the shadow of the spine directly posterior to the aorta. And I keep moving down, working around the bowel gas, looking for that long black tube immediately anterior to the spine. And again, I do this all the way down to the level of the umbilicus. And I will see a left iliac artery, 
and a right a right iliac artery. And again, I can decrease the depth to optimize my image because it is so anterior by the time you get to the level of the umbilicus.